This video is to show you how to hang up your uniform properly to keep it ready for inspection. First what you're going to need are your three hangers or two hangers as well as your uniform items such as your pants or your slacks, your light blue shirt, and your service coat, your heavier one. As well as having that, you're going to need your hat or your flight cap and your belt as well as an untied tie. First, what you're going to want to do is get your pants, your trousers, or your slacks, whatever you would like to call them, and you're going to want to unzip and unbutton the button. All right. Then you're going to want to go to the bottom of it, you see where, the, where you would put your feet through, and pinch it, just pinch it for right now. There's going to be a natural crease or fold in the pants line, and you're going to want to line that up evenly so it goes all the way down. All right, It's not the seam of where your pants are sewed, but a crease. You're going to pinch those together and then you're going to tuck your fly or your button inward to the pants. Press it down so it's nice and flat and grab one of your hangers. I'm going to grab the one with the white on the bottom and then put it through the pants. Go about halfway. I'd like to measure it down and about halfway we will be fine. Make sure these on the sides of the hangers are not crunched in but folded along over the hanger perfectly. Again crease in your button and that's step one. All right and for step two you're going to want to grab your light blue shirt and unbutton the buttons all right so it's nice and open you're going to want to grab the hanger that you just had for your trousers or your slacks you're going to wrap it around the hanger as you normally would with a normal shirt wrap the shirt all the way around the pants and have it go across the crocs of the shirt. Then, when you're here, hang the shirt up or place the shirt down and button the top two buttons on the shirt. Right here, and then the next one. That will prevent your shirt from falling off of your hanger. Crease it down. Make sure nothing's folded around. The entire side, make sure your uh, collar is folded down, and then also make sure your sleeves aren't crunched inward. All right, and then with that, you're just going to want to put it away nicely onto your coat rack. And for step three, you're going to want to get your service coat as well as your flight cap. Okay. With the service coat, this is going to be a little bit trickier, but there is a pocket on the right side if you were wearing it. So if I was wearing it right now, it was my right side. Or if you're looking at it, it's going to also be the right side on the inside though. There's a little pocket. You're going to want to take your hat with the sides up vertical, and you're going to slip that in there. I like to put the fold of the hat down because it's heavier and straight in to there. You don't want to crease your hat in there so it's just nice and snug in the, the little pocket. Alright and then just let it fold through naturally then you're going to place your coat on a similar hanger as you did, I like to use the one with the black on the top because it has a broader crock. 
as you normally would with your shirt, just put it in. And then, again, make sure your hat doesn't fold downward because it's going to have a tendency to do that. Just fold it upward. And fold everything, make sure everything's nice and untucked and as we did with the light blue shirt. And then button up all three buttons on your service coat, make sure they're lined up. And when you're doing that, again, just make sure that your hat isn't folded on the inside of it. And then for step four, you just take your tie, which is untied, and drape it over the top of the hanger head so both ends are equally around the coat. So just over the head of it, and they're equaled so it doesn't fall off. For females, you can just Velcro your tie tab. You can just Velcro your tie tab over the head of the hanger. And similar to that, you're going to want to take your belt. So you already have your tie. You're going to want to take your belt and take the buckle and just buckle it a little bit. A little bit, doesn't have to be too much. And then wrap it around the coat head again. So now you have your tie or tie tab and your belt. And then you're gonna wanna hang it up. Make and that's how you keep your uniform ready to be hung up and ready for inspection for the next uniform wear if you'd like and as well now you have learned how to effectively hang up your dress uniform